Today we're going to be doing some detective work. You should be on page 16 in your workbook. In detective work, we are going to be letter and sound detectives. We will be using what we've learned to pay close attention to each letter in a word and then read the word. In market, we will underline letters and say the sounds that those letters make. Then we will blend the sounds together to make a word. Watch as I underline the letters while saying their sounds and then read the whole word. When we see digraph TH or digraph SH, we will underline both letters with one line because together they spell one sound, th or sh. Let's look at number one, b, a, th, bath. Good. I want you to underline those letters on your page as you say each sound. Let's go on to number two. Let's do number two together. Ready? Have your pencil ready to underline as we say each sound. R, a, sh, rush. Good. When I say pause, you're going to continue on all the way to number 12 on your own. Then you can click play on the video and we will check your work. Ready? Pause. Awesome job. Let's check your work. Number three, we have p, a, f, path. Number four, h, a, sh, hush. Number five, a d thud. Number six, sh a t shut. Number seven, m a sh mash. Number eight, a d thad. That is a name. Number nine, th e n thin. Number ten, m Ah, f, moth. Number 11, j, ah, sh, josh. Number 12, sh, i, n, shin. Good. Now, the next part is called read it. You're going to need your partner for this part. You're going to read each row of words. Then your checker is going to check and give you a thumbs up if you read them all correctly or thumbs to the side if there's some that you need to work on. When you're all done reading through those words, then you can click play on your video again. Ready? Pause. Nice job. Now we're going to do a word sort. So remember when we are doing a word sort, I will always model the first one or two words to show you how to sort the words. Sorting words will help you pay attention to the spellings of the words. In this lesson, we will sort words in two ways. First, we will decide which vowel sound we hear. We will read the word first and then decide if the vowel sound is like a apple, a edge, a itch, a uh, octopus or a uh, up. Next, we'll read the word again and listen carefully for the sound of digraph sh or digraph th. If we hear digraph sh sh or digraph th in a word, then we will circle it. So let's look at the first one together. Number one, u a sh lash. Good. What is the vowel sound that we hear? Ah, so which guide word will I circle? Apple, good. Let's say the word again and listen to see if we hear digraph SH or digraph TH. U, A, SH, LASH. Did you hear a digraph? I did. At the end I heard digraph SH, so I'm going to circle it. Good, let's do number two together. Have your pencil ready? Ah, p, shop. The vowel sound is ah. So, am I? What guide word am I going to circle? Octopus. Good. Let's say the word again and listen for a digraph. Sh, ah, p, shop. 
Did you hear our digraph? I did. Digraph SH sh is at the beginning. Good. When I say pause, you're going to click pause on the video, and then you're going to finish the rest of the word sort all the way to number 10. Remember, if there's not a digraph in it, you don't have to worry about circling it. Once you're all done, you can click play on the video and we'll check your work. Ready? Pause. Okay, let's check your work. Number three is with. The vowel sound is I, so I circled itch. I hear digraph TH at the end, with. Number four is run. The vowel sound is a, uh, so I circle up. There is no digraph in this word. Number five is bath. The vowel sound is a, ah, so I circled the apple. I hear digraph TH at the end. Number six is mop. The vowel sound is ah, uh, so I'm going to circle the octopus. There's no digraph in this word. Number seven is shot. The vowel sound is ah, uh, so I'm going to circle the octopus. I hear digraph sh at the beginning of the word. Number eight is this. The vowel sound is i, so I'm going to circle itch. I hear digraph th at the beginning of this. Number nine is net. The vowel sound is a, so I'm going to circle edge. There's no digraph in this word. Number 10 is thin. The vowel sound is i, so I'm going to circle itch. There is digraph th at the beginning of this word. All right, very nice. Good work today.